Finally, let's consider this example. We have a, a cylinder, a large cylinder, and this will rotate so that a person standing here, a person standing here will not fall once the floor of the cylinder is removed. So what should the maximum period be? Maximum period corresponds to the minimum speed. So the question is, in fact, one could say, what is the minimum speed? Now, if the person, the cylinder has radius r, so the person is moving around in a circle of radius r. And so there's a centripetal acceleration, mv square over r. And this means that there's a centripetal force equals mv square over r. But where will this centripetal force come from? It will come from the, it's just a normal force exerted by the cylinder surface. So fn is equal to mv square over r. Now, the person will not fall as long as the maximum force of static friction is equal to or larger than his or her weight. So this means that, this means that mu s fn, which is mv square over r, must be greater than or equal to mg. So this means that V squared must be greater than or equal to RG over mu S. So V must be greater than or equal to square root of RG over mu S. T is just 2 pi R, which is the circumference, divided by the speed V. So since V is greater than or equal to this, this means that t must be less than or equal to 2 pi r divided by a square root of r g over mu s. So this means t is less than or equal to that. So the maximum value of t would correspond to the, to the equality. So t max is just 2 pi r divided by a square root of r g divided by mu Yes. And that ends the solution. Thank you for listening.